Hi, welcome back to Build with Kepler podcast, hosted by Yeshua Kepler Sino. On this podcast, we build tech, businesses, and cities. So for this episode, we're continuing our tic-tac-toe game building. We've actually updated like quite a bit on what the game is supposed to do. So we've changed the levels to be from normal and hard to just be nearly impossible. So that is our intention to make it nearly possible for people to win. So we've also changed the app in the sense of that now the users will have one in 100 chances of winning a match. And otherwise for the 99% of the time, the game will play it perfectly. So they will only have the option of taking a tie or taking a loss. And in one of those 100 chances, they'll be able to win. So they have to uh, really stay focused as they play. Otherwise, um, they also get a chance to win $100. So the first people, person, let's say person, who gets, who wins 10 times, gets $100 from us. The people that lose 10 times, they can never play the game again. They won't have the ability to, so we'll make it a little bit more fun this way. I downloaded a couple tic-tac-toe games because I wanted to see how people have built theirs and I could figure out maybe how I can build mine. And uh, there was an actual one that was, uh, was, I think it was actually called Impossible Tic-Tac-Toe. So it had a very similar premise where the AI will always win. Well, not always win. It will never lose. It's either a tie or a win. So I downloaded it and I played it and it worked the way it was supposed to. I didn't like how linear it was. So for instance, if I pressed X in the middle, it would always put the O on the upper left. No matter what, it would just always do that. I thought that was annoying. I thought you could have, that it could be different, like the, uh, the O could be in different areas. So as we're building the actual, as we are actually coding the application, I'll keep that in mind because I didn't like that. So I want to make it where it's a little bit randomization, even though the AI still wins. I still want it to be like, okay, there is a little bit of randomization. It's not the same, very like linear step by step of how the AI interacts with the user. Also, we did, well, yeah, we did try to focus really on the aesthetics. That's like, that's the greatest part of it. Uh, so this is what we have in design. It's a very simple, it's three screens. There is the tic-tac-toe screen. So that will keep track of the wins, the ties and losses. And these are the colors. Uh, this is the little thing here. Win one in 100 games. Win 10 games with $100. Lose 10 games, lose forever. So you can move on. No longer play this game uh, when you press try again you'll have the option of either playing as the x or the o if you play as the x you'll go first if you play as o you'll go second and this is our board it's a very simple board it's which is just a tic-tac-toe board if you guys I mean, if you guys have never seen tic-tac-toe before then this is how it works so tic-tac-toe what works is for instance the x if there's Three X like this, then you win. If there's three X like this, then you win. If there's three X like this, then you win. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, not the best explanation. If you guys have never played tic tac toe, then I am sorry that I did not explain it super well. For this project, we'll be also building the figuring out the algorithm. I did some quick research and I found that there's other people on YouTube that have implemented and worked on the AI for tic-tac-toe game uh, and the impossible one where the computer always win well the computer can't lose that's it it's either a tie or it wins uh, we've also added a little exit button so if people want to exit the game so if they exit it's considered a loss by the way so just know if you lose 10 games you're out forever let me get let me know what you guys think aesthetically if i should update it i am pretty happy with it 
with the mockup. I haven't built out the actual application, so that might change the aesthetic. That does happen occasionally. So I'll figure out how to build it and also be figuring out the algorithm and uh, and to actually figure it out because I, I can find the code and I can copy and paste it, but I wanted to actually be able to understand what's happening and explain it to you guys in a way that makes sense, at least you know the way I understood it, so you guys can also understand and maybe implement it on your own projects. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next episode. Oh yeah.